Luka Doncic went for the old 60-point, 20-rebound triple-double against the Knicks last night. And a big reason for that scoring outburst was the way New York defended him. The Knicks' defensive coverages invited Luka to score more, and we'll have a video on the NBA app breaking down that game in more detail. But a few weeks ago, the Nuggets' defensive coverages forced Doncic to be more of a passer. And what really stood out to me about this game was the way Luka attacked Jokic's defense in the pick and roll. So right away at the start of the half, the Mavs run staggered screens as they love to do. And Jokic is the second defender here and he hedges out to temporarily slow Luka down. That means someone else for the Nuggets has to pick up the roller. It's Aaron Gordon and Luka makes the read to the corner, skips it over to Dorian Finney-Smith for an open three. That's a fairly straightforward way to attack a hedge. So a few minutes later, when they bring Jokic up into the pick and roll again, Luka is waiting for him to hedge out on the other side. You see how high he is. And then he's actually moving to the sideline a little to bring Jokic with him and quickly passing it to a third teammate who can then make an extra pass into the corner. And that's a pretty good look for a three. And Tim Hardaway started to catch fire in this stretch. So about a minute later, there's another pick and roll, and this time it's Bones Highland as the defender. And Bones wants to avoid the switch onto Luka just like Jokic. So he jumps out to slow him down temporarily. And you see how a subtle little thing, like just flowing from the dribble into a pass, can make it harder for the defense to react because Highland and Aaron Gordon are still sitting on Luka like he has a live dribble. So that pass creates a slightly bigger advantage. Hardaway can again make the extra pass and it's another great look to put the Mavs up eight. Note Jokic off ball here. It's a great screen by Dwight Powell to prevent him from rotating to the corner, making that an incredibly easy shot. Okay, next time down, it's pick and roll again. This time, Powell back to setting the screen. Jokic is in a drop back near the free throw line, so Luka attacks it differently. He comes downhill with the dribble, and the goal of the drop is to prevent a ton of help from the other three defenders. So Contavious Caldwell-Pope sliding way over here opens up the corner skip pass from Luka. He makes it, the defense goes into rotation. They swing it around for yet another good look, although Doncic leaves it just short. So fast forward two minutes, when Luka sees the drop for the second time in the half, again, the Nuggets are pulled way over off this corner to help with the roll. Doncic goes into the same jumping motion to skip it to the corner, but that's a trick because he's throwing the lob anyway to Wood. Absolutely amazing manipulation. And it works because even though that defender is pinched way over, he doesn't get inside or in front of Wood's roll path. And so it gives Christian a pretty clear vertical space to jump into and finish the pass. Just brilliant basketball. Okay, back to the hedging action that really caught my eye. This time, Highland is the second defender off the staggered screens. So Luca knows he's going to slide with him until Gordon recovers. And so he's moving toward the sideline just to make this rotation harder back to the shooter at the top. And again, another quick live dribble delivery Blending the dribble into a behind-the-back pass creates enough space, up fake and pull, and Hardaway is in the zone. A few minutes later, they put Jokic back in the pick and roll. And at this point, Luka can read that it's a hedge because Jokic is up at the level of the screen. So this time he only needs one dribble and then the behind the back pass. And because he passes it so early, the Nuggets aren't really ready to react. Hardaway gets another open look. This time he misses it, but keep that in the back of your head. Two minutes left and it's down to four and they put Murray in pick and roll this time, but KCP just gets around the screen so they don't have to switch. And even though Luka turns the corner on him here, this is a different defensive read coming downhill with Jokic in the lane, Brown covering the corner and the other two defenders set. So it's a different passing process for Luka. Brown can sit on the pass and snabs it out of the air. And then the Nuggets go the other way in this big clutch situation, end up with free throws to chip into the lead a little bit more. The next trip down, Luka goes after Murray again. There's a little confusion and they end up with a switch this time. 
And Jokic is kind of in a one-man zone. He's leaving the paint so he doesn't get defensive three seconds. Maxi Kleba actually flashes into the lane uncovered. Luka doesn't see him and settles for a turnaround instead against the smaller Murray, so it's another empty trip. But that one-man zone idea is interesting because the Nuggets keep Jokic near the basket, so it's not really obvious who to bring up for the pick and roll. They again go after Murray. Note that Murray is guarding Maxi Kleba because of Jokic being on the weak side. Luka spins into the switch. And now he wants Kleba to stay in the near corner so someone from the other side of the court can bring Jokic up into the pick and roll. Maxi doesn't get the message, so when Dinwiddie heads to the near corner, Jokic and KCP just pre-switch, keeping Nikola out of the screening action. And at this point, the clock is down to five, and Doncic is just forced to go into isolation mode, but ends up with a very difficult shot against the clock. So it's the Nuggets' turn in the final minute. They run a Murray-Jokic pick and roll, look for Jokic in the post, and they have to pick their poison because doubling Jokic is scary. He whips it to KCP. One more for the open three, and the Nuggets are up one. What a little comeback. So the Mavs come out of the timeout and set up this play where Luka gets off the ball early, goes to get it back on a little pitch, and Tim Hardaway can curl around this screen, which is option one, but really what this sets up is a Luka pick and roll, and with Gordon involved, the Nuggets can switch, but to force Jokic into the play, Luka just passes to his man, and look at where everyone is on the floor. There's no one to pre-switch with Jokic, So when DFS passes it back to Doncic, he's forced into the pick and roll. And even with seven seconds on the clock, Luka is setting up this pick and roll, not so he can attack downhill, but so he can pull Jokic to the sideline off that hedge, hang dribble to wait for his man to spring free, the behind the back pass we just saw, and Bruce Brown doesn't close hard. And that is essentially the game winning dagger in a fantastic back and forth battle between the Nuggets and the Mavs, where Luka Doncic was essentially attacking the pick and roll coverage by allowing the double team to come to him, by stringing it out laterally, and by timing his passing and delivery to exploit this advantage in the maximal possible way. And we've seen Luka use this exact behind the back pass before, where his answer to a hedge or even a trap is to move sideways and patiently pull the defense toward him before spitting out a quick pass that gives the Mavs a four on three to attack. Of course, this doesn't have to be a behind the back delivery because if the angle is different, he can just throw it over the top instead. And his size allows him to make passes that smaller guards with great vision can't make because they can't string out the hedge or trap as easily. Whereas Luka can move horizontally, stretch out that advantage on the floor, and then attack the weakness in the defense. If you're interested in that 60-point scoring outburst against the Knicks, check out the NBA app. Otherwise, you can support this channel directly at patreon.com slash thinkingbasketball. We have our brand new daily stats board that updates with proprietary team and player stats so you can stay up to date on everything happening around the league. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed this one. And as always, that wherever you're watching from, you are having a great day.